Good day and welcome. We are starting an exciting series on planet Earth and beyond. Today, we will learn more about the most important star in the solar system, the Sun. Here's a question for you, what is the role of the Sun in the solar system? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Stick around until the end for some thought-provoking questions to test your understanding. Challenge yourself and see how well you've grasped the material. It's a fantastic way to boost your confidence. Please do not forget to like and subscribe so that you do not miss our weekly uploads. Let's get started. What is a star? A star is a body of red-hot gases in space that produces its own energy. The Sun is classified as a medium-sized star, but it is much more to us than just a glowing ball of gas in the sky. Located at the center of our solar system, it continuously produces vast amounts of heat and light, essential for life on Earth. Like all stars, the Sun generates energy through nuclear reactions or nuclear fusion, converting hydrogen into helium in its core. Although the Sun is an average-sized star in the universe, it appears much larger and brighter to us because it is much closer than other stars, but it is just an average-sized star compared to others in the universe. The Sun is about 150 million kilometers away from Earth. If you were to travel at 80 kilometers per hour, it would take you 214 years to reach the Sun. Despite its distance, the Sun plays a critical role in sustaining life and driving the dynamics of our solar system. The Sun rotates on its axis, just like the planets. The Sun spins or rotates at the center and the planets and all other objects orbit around it in the same direction. We have already seen that a star is a body of red-hot gases in space that produces its own energy. Just like other stars, the Sun continuously radiates heat and light energy in all directions. But how does the Sun produce so much energy? The Sun is mainly a big ball of hydrogen and helium gas that is held together by the Sun's gravitational attraction to itself. The Sun's energy is produced through nuclear fusion in its core. At extremely high temperatures and immense pressure, for hydrogen nuclei combine to form one helium nucleus. Through intense nuclear reactions a large amount of energy is released in all directions in the form of heat and light. A small portion of this energy reaches Earth, where it supports life by providing light for photosynthesis and warmth to maintain the planet's climate. To understand the scale of the Sun's energy production, every second, the Sun generates more energy than South Africa uses in an entire year. It is also equivalent to the explosion of 100 billion tons of dynamite every second. This energy travels outward from the core to the surface of the Sun and eventually radiates into space. Let us now talk about the structure of the Sun. The diameter of the Sun is about 1.4 million kilometers and it is more than a hundred times greater than Earth's diameter. More than 1 million Earths can easily fit into the Sun. The Sun weighs about 333,000 times more than Earth. The Sun is the same as other stars, it only looks different than other stars because it is much closer to us. The core of the Sun is 15 million degrees Celsius, while the surface of the Sun is 5,600 degrees Celsius. The chemical composition of the Sun is 91.2% hydrogen, 8.7% helium and other substances such as metals make up 0.1%. The Sun is made up of several key layers. The core is the innermost and hottest part of the Sun, where nuclear fusion occurs. The photosphere is the visible surface of the Sun, with a temperature of about 5,600 degrees Celsius. Prominences are large loops and arches of gas that extend from the Sun's surface, visible during solar eclipses. The Sun's surface is constantly changing due to the immense forces of magnetic activity and nuclear fusion. 
On the surface of the sun, we can observe sunspots, solar flares, and prominences. Sunspots are areas on the surface that are cooler than their surroundings, appearing as dark spots. These spots can last for days or weeks. Solar flares are massive explosions of gas that release large amounts of energy into space. These flares can sometimes disrupt communication systems on Earth. Prominences are large, bright loops and arches of gas that extend from the sun's surface. These dramatic structures are held in place by magnetic fields and can last for days or months. Let us now talk about the role and importance of the Sun. The Sun is not only the central body of our solar system, but it is also the source of light and heat that makes life on Earth possible. Without the Sun, Earth would be a frozen, lifeless planet. The Sun drives weather patterns, supports the water cycle, and powers photosynthesis, the process by which plants produce food. In turn, plants sustain life on Earth forming the base of the food chain. In addition to supporting life, the sun's energy is stored in fossil fuels, which are ancient remains of plants and animals that absorbed sunlight millions of years ago. Today, humans also harness the sun's power directly using solar energy as a renewable energy source. Without the sun, there would be no life on Earth. The sun's immense gravitational pull also keeps all objects in the solar system in stable and predictable orbits. Objects in the solar system are held in place by the sun's gravity. These objects include the eight planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, their moons, dwarf planets, asteroids, and even distant icy bodies in the Kuiper belt and the Oort cloud at the edge of our solar system. All these objects move in predictable orbits, organized in a flat disk or plate with the Sun at the center. All the planets and other objects in the solar system have their own special features including size, distance from the Sun, number of moons known, composition, surface temperature, time it takes for one orbit around the Sun comets, which originate from the Oort cloud, occasionally travel close to the Sun, producing bright tails as they heat up. The Sun's gravity ensures that these objects remain in stable orbits, preventing chaos in the solar system. We have come to the end of today's video. But before we go, please attempt the following questions before the answers pop up. Feel free to pause the video as you work through them, this is an important section to consolidate what you've learned. In the next video, we'll explore the objects around the Sun in the solar system. Be sure to check out the link in the description for more videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss our weekly uploads. Thank you for watching, and take care.